guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be lip swatching the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Volume 2 collection. No, this isn't a new product, it has been out for a while. I've actually had this for some time now. I absolutely love it, but I was looking at it earlier thinking, that is just the perfect autumnal lip collection. And of course we're transitioning into autumn at the moment from summer. Autumn is my absolute favourite time of the year. But yeah, there may be some of you out there looking for the perfect autumnal liquid lipsticks. So I've got you covered. <laughs> I'm also going to be revealing the giveaway winner at the end of this video as well guys. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, if you want to see me swatch each shade, just keep on watching. So something I always, always, always do before applying a liquid lipstick is apply a lip liner. Usually just take it like round the border of the lips and then and just fill it in slightly here on the outer corners. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. I also always use a darker shade than my natural lip color. Um, this just helps contour the lips a little bit more. I actually don't know which brand this lip pencil is either, guys. Um, the name is rubbed off and it's just one from my collection. But one of my favorite brown lip liners is Espresso by NYX. So once they look something like that, I know they look really odd, um, I just blend that in with my finger. I've also overdrawn my top lip as well. I never bother with my bottom lip because my bottom lip is a lot bigger than my top lip. So this kind of evens them out. So this is what the volume 2 collection looks like. Um, I've actually had this for a few months now. But for some reason, I've never done a lip swatch video. I don't know why. The packaging is amazing. It's like a really soft material. And then under here, it says open here for nudes. Da, 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 da. Wow. That is like the most satisfying packaging ever. So from left to right, we have I'm Nude, which is my absolute favorite liquid lipstick of all time. You'll know that if you've been subscribed for a while. This is like my favorite nude ever. Then we have Birthday Suit, which is also one of my favourites. We have Top Shelf, which I don't believe I've tried yet. Um, Christmas Cookie, Nathan, Dominatrix, Family Jewels and Tasty. I feel like this is just the perfect autumnal liquid lipstick collection. Literally, Jeffree Star does the best liquid lipsticks, hands down. I absolutely love his products. And they're cruelty free as well, which is amazing. So I'm going to swatch these for you guys in that order. Starting with I'm Nude. So you can see it's a very, very pale nude. I always blend liquid lipsticks in with my finger as well. I just find it gives the most like even finish. So this is what I'm nude looks like. It's also a really, really pretty shade on its own as well, but obviously I've got the brown lip liner on. Next shade is Birthday Suit, which is also one of my favourites. This one is more of like a peachy tone nude, I would say. It's a lot darker than I'm nude. I wouldn't necessarily wear this with um, the brown lip liner either. Yeah, I really like that one. My lips are going to be so stained by the end of this video. <laughs> the next shade we have is Top Shelf and I don't think I've ever tried this one. Okay, I'm not going to put this on as thick. Oh my god. I literally love this shade. The application is awful, so just ignore that, guys. I think I was gonna like this shade because it had a bit of a red undertone to it, and I thought, mm, it's just gonna be like a reddish brown. But I absolutely love it for autumn. I really wanna keep this on. I've literally never reached that color, and I'm so gobsmacked, I love it. What I love about this collection as well is that Jeffree's really put a lot of thought into all the different types of skin tones out there. Um, there is a shade for absolutely everyone in this collection. I feel like this shade would suit a lot of people. I don't want to take it off. The next shade we have is Christmas Cookie. I'd say this is like a deep nude with pink undertones. It's really lovely. 
really like this one as well. I probably wear this for like every day. My lips are on fire. Next shade I'm gonna swatch is Nathan. I don't think I've tried this one either. This is really lovely. This reminds me of the second shade birthday suit, but just a lot darker uh, with a bit more like orange. Absolutely love this shade. Again, I feel like this would suit so many different skin tones. It's such a beautiful shade. Okay, this is a very daring shade. It's the darker shade in the collection. I really don't think it's gonna suit me, um, but it's Dominatrix. Let's give it a go. Really, really dark. Yeah. I'm not gonna apply too much of this because it'll just completely wash me out. So that's Dominatrix, not my favorite. Um, but I feel like that's just because it's on me. I feel like this would look so, so stunning on those of you with deeper complexions. I just don't know about it on me personally. Next we have Family Jewels. Okay. I actually quite like this one. I absolutely love this shade. This is such a close match to the lip liner that I'm wearing. This is like the perfect brown with a little bit of a pink undertone. To me, this is like the perfect autumn shade. Like I'll be wearing this a lot through the autumn, I know. So this is Family Jewels. The last shade is Tasty, which looks like a true brown. No, I'm right, it is literally like chocolate. Again, terrible application on my behalf, I know. Um, I didn't think I'd like the brown shades on myself, but I don't think they look all that bad. It's a bit daring, a bit more out there. Um, I think it's perfect for autumn and winter. I quite like it, it's not my absolute favorite. So yeah, this is tasty. Out of them all, my favorites are definitely, I'm nude, like my number one liquid lipstick of all time. I'm new. <laughs> um, I love Top Shelf. I can't believe I've never tried this before. I absolutely love that. I'll definitely be wearing that in the autumn. And I also really liked Family Jewels. I think I'm gonna pop Family Jewels back on after this video. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed all those swatches, guys. I highly recommend purchasing this collection if you haven't already. It's absolutely amazing. The quality and the pigments are just unreal. And just before you go, I'm gonna reveal the giveaway winner. So the winner will win the Bright Matte 9 Color Palette by Booty Bay. I'm also gonna be throwing in a few of my favorite makeup products as well, guys. So I know you've all been patiently waiting, guys. So I'm finally gonna reveal the giveaway winner. The winner of the palette and the makeup goodie box is Joanne High Diamond. So congratulations, Joanne. I really hope you love this palette and all the makeup as much as I do. And I'll be sending that out in the post to you this week. So I really hope you love it. Thank you so much to everyone who entered the giveaway. It really helps me out a lot. The next sort of videos I'm gonna be filming are Halloween. That will be a year before we know it and I'm also going away before then so I've got to pre-film a few videos. So if you have any ideas or requests, leave them in the comment section below or I don't know, send me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you'd like to see because I feel like I've done so many different Halloween looks over the years that I'm sort of running out of ideas because I've already done everything. Um, I'm sure something will come to me, but if you have any ideas of looks I could create this year or a specific character from a movie or something, like I done It the Clown two years ago, I think it was. So yeah, check that out. So yeah, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching as always. With this video, a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. And until the next video, I'll see you all really soon, guys. Bye.